Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and we're answering a question posted uh, about two weeks ago by username MyTimeMama on a YouTube video we did. And we have previously answered a question for MyTimeMama. Um, and uh, I also, I should note that MyTimeMama noted on the, uh, on the video that she is now three and a half years sober in another post. And I gotta tell you, my hat's off to you. Three and a half years is no joke. That is a serious accomplishment. And I applaud you very, very sincerely. That is impressive. Okay, so here we have the question she posted. I'll read it into the record. I guess I have another question. If the former employee was in the psych ward for massive depression and suicidal ideation, could their attorney argue that the employee was not in the right frame of mind to sign corporate paperwork on their own? Especially if the employee notified the general manager she was in the psych ward. Thanks. Okay. So, and you'll pardon me, my time mama, I don't remember your original question, but I assume you're, you're discussing perhaps a severance package that you may have signed or some other contract. Generally speaking, the concept of not having the mental capability to enter, the, the concept of not having the mental capability to enter into a contract because of a mental impairment, a mental health issue, that exists and that is real. And that is an argument you can absolutely make. It is a very high bar to jump over. The standards are pretty high when it comes to making that argument. And they shouldn't be. I think we can all agree Maybe they shouldn't be. However, what we're dealing with and what courts are dealing with is a ton of people, um, a ton of people who try to get out of contracts by just, and this isn't just employment contracts. This is all contracts. You're essentially making the argument, hey, I entered into a contract and I shouldn't be bound because of my mental health. It's not necessarily a question purely of employment law. It's a question of contract law. And over the course of a given year, Thousands of small-time incompetent grifters try to make this argument in every court in the land. Oh yeah, I uh, I did enter into that contract and I did get the benefit of that contract and I do now want to break that contract, but judge, judge, it's because I was unwell. Okay, so then the court's got to go through this entire process. Like, okay, all right. Bring your doctors, bring your mental health professionals. Let's have them testify. Let's see if you meet the bar, uh, that kind of high evidentiary bar to prove that uh, you didn't have the mental capacity to enter in this contract. And they make it difficult. They make it difficult to combat the literal, I guess not literal, the figurative tidal wave, tidal wave a grifters and ignorant scam artists, which I know, my time mama, this is not you, but I'm explaining, explaining to you why they make this difficult, uh, who are trying to make the argument, oh yeah, 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 I did sign that contract, but now I don't want to live up to it, so I was unwell. So that means that your job here, proving that you were unwell and that you didn't have the mental capacity, is going to be difficult. It's going to be more difficult because courts are set up to combat all the grifters who try to make this argument. That sucks. It sucks because it makes your life really hard. You're going to have to go through a lot of hoops. Your attorneys are going to have to make some pretty extensive motion practice. There's going to have to be uh, testimony and affidavits from your mental health professionals. There's a lot. There's no guarantee of success on this. That's all right. You know that. The core of your question, though, is that an argument you can make that could succeed? Yes. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're not... That is correct. You you could potentially not have had the mental capacity to enter into a contract. And if that is the case, then you may not be subject to the terms of that contract. That is absolutely a mental argument or a legal argument that your attorneys could make. So I wish you luck because it sucks that you have to make all these difficult arguments when it should just be like, listen, I was, as you mentioned, I was in the psych ward. I was in no place making contracts. That, to me, should be a pretty good argument. But the court's going to say, all right, tell me more. And that's that's where it's going to get expensive and difficult and become a hassle. Um, but if anyone can do it, it's you. I believe in you. I believe in your attorney. I hope you have a good attorney. 
and I hope, I hope you win. Good luck. I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe. It helps me to help more people just like you. Take care.